Hello guys and welcome back to Inside Byte. I've been asked to show how we can upgrade NiFi or how we can upgrade a NiFi class. So before I go ahead and demonstrate how the upgrade process works and what are the things that you should watch, I'm going to go and set up a NiFi cluster locally. And for those who don't know how to do that, they have the opportunity to see how. I've scripted it a lot and these scripts can help you set up your own cluster. So first, what we'll do, I'll explain what we, what, what's going to be the procedure. We have a function here that we're going to use it to uh, basically edit our NiFi properties files with ease. I'm also going to add uh, this entry into my host file. Basically, our node is going to be called node1. Make sure you have Java installed. These commands will help you to do that. We are going to set up our zookeeper as an external zookeeper. I'm not going to use the embedded zookeeper because it sucks. <laughs> it doesn't work. It's always fl it's very flaky. So this is going to help out with setting up our zookeeper um, inst install. And then we're going to install our NiFi and set up some configuration or edit the configuration comment some configuration in the NIFA properties, add the zookeeper client to our state management file, and finally start the cluster. So let's jump into it. Let's see how this can happen. Let's open a terminal line in our VS Code. Navigate to OPT. I'm already there. Let's go from the top, right? First, I've already added this entry into my host. I already have Java installed, so I'm not going to go through that. I'll instantiate this function, make sure I have it there. And now you can see I'm in my OPT cluster. Download the software to install Zookeeper. And let's create a new folder here. Basically, this is where our Zookeeper is going to be installed. Download, unzip the content of the software into the new created folder. Next, we're going to create a new configuration file in the that in the config folder called zoo.conf and add some of the information to it. Basically, type in your sudo password. So what we're doing here, we're telling him that the data there for this particular service is going to sit in this location. And we're telling that this is the only server we have in our Zookeeper cluster and it's going to re respond to this particular node or host name and this port. This is going to be our client port. We're going to add the init limit 5 and sync limit 2. Next, we're going to create a data folder as we set it up here in the data deer. And inside the data deer, we're going to add this particular file, my ID, and we're going to fill it up with the value of 1. Right. Now that we have this, we're going to start the Zookeeper service. All right. To check if the Zookeeper is starting, you can either check the logs or you can run Zookeeper client. This one will connect to your running Zookeeper. So you see he's trying to connect to local host port 2181 and you can see that we are connected all right let's exit this Control c let's clear this one and go to the next step in the next step we're going to set up our nifi node or node in this example i'm just going to set up a single node because i'm installing nifi locally and if i were to have multiple nodes in my machine uh, the addresses won't properly bind but it's still going to be a cluster nonetheless all right, so let's go back to our cluster folder. And here what I do, we're going to install version 119.1. Let's download this software. It's going to take a bit of time, so I'll pause the video. Cool. Now the download is complete. Let's go ahead and create our directory here. So our installation is going to happen inside OPT cluster NIFA. Cool. And we're going to create a location for our first node, right? Let's go ahead and unzip the contents in that particular node and then get rid of whatever we have there left over. I'm not going to go over this command. Basically, it's going to unzip into this location, then it's going to get rid of the version and it's going to end up just with node 1. So we're going to go into NIFI node one that's pretty much how it's going to look all right let's go back to the cluster location here we're going to take a copy of our knife property before we start changing it all right and using the function at the beginning that we created we're going to replace some of the properties so this installation is going to be a non-secure one uh we're going to say it's non-secure this is going to be the host you remember that the value that we added into our uh, into our host file it's going to respond port 1111 it's part of a node 
it's it's a node so basically it's going to be part of the cluster that's how the installation node this is a cluster the cluster node address is going to be node one similar to our host cluster protocol 999 uh node threads history size 50 node connection timeout 10 node read timeout 10 uh we're gonna leave this property empty you're gonna have to set up your sensitive property key and uh, this is my very secret key <laughs> and cluster election we're gonna lower it from its default five minutes to 30 seconds then uh we're gonna change the remote and this is for or, um, it's part of when you have multiple nodes in a cluster uh, these values will be used to exchange flow information um so we're gonna have the socket port at this value one lower than 999 so it's gonna be 9998 ftp enabled true transaction ttl time to leave 30 seconds and the zookeeper connection string is gonna be at this address remember when we set up zookeeper earlier and he's gonna ask us nighthawk state management embedded zookeeper start and you're gonna have to set this to false basically this says do you want me to start an embedded zookeeper or no and we're gonna say hell no all right next we're gonna comment some of the properties using the set and e and i and e flag we're gonna comment the key store since it's gonna be an unsecure installation cipher protocol all of this information i'll leave this one here so the only thing you have to do just copy and paste it into your terminal okay that is done next we're gonna add our state management file we're going to add this property basically what is going to be the connection string in our case to zookeep edit app and now start your knife basically we're going to run the start nifi.sh start and then we're going to tail the log right up and we're going to wait for it to start it beginning might take at least 30 seconds so i'll probably pause the video all right so my cluster is up and running uh the startup completed with success go ahead and open a browser and go to localhost you remember we set it to port 11 say great so now we can see we have a single node cluster up and running uh if you want to see information about the cluster you can go to cluster in your burger menu and you can see here information about the node uh, the status is connected primary and it's also coordinated basically he's the jack of all trades uh we can add multiple nodes to it but in my case i won't go through that because um i can have multiple nodes being part of the same cluster in the same machine but if you want to go through it you can install it on amazon ec2 or in a dockerized environment all right so in the next tutorial we're going to see how we can upgrade this NiFi cluster version from 119.1 to 120.0. All right, stick around and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. See you in the next one.